Hello and welcome to another tutorial um, from live.jrock2004.net uh, We're going to um, complete the series by uh, installing uh, MySQL support to the uh, Apache and PHP server This is probably going to be the easiest of all three to do I mean, you install the application and you start it. You specify a password for the root, which by default is created, and you're done. There's no editing um, the Apache configuration, anything like that. So, um, as always, let me cut to my video that I created separately uh, for installing PR MySQL. Okay. Let's uh, get started with installing MySQL on a FreeBSD server that is currently running Apache uh, 2.2.8 and PHP 5.5 something, I don't know the exact number. Um, but now, let's finish off the data, let's finish it off by adding database support. Now, to do that, we're going to switch into our super user root. Type the password in. And if you looked at the FreeBSD site, the ports database, you can see it's under ports. Oops, if I could spell databases. Now, what I'm going to do here, I want to show you something. Um, what I've noticed with the current version of Apache and PHP when you build support for MySQL. It has not been set yet to build 5.1 of MySQL. So the best thing I do is I install 5.0. Now what you need to do is you need to install the server. Don't install the client. The client is probably already installed with when you did the PHP stuff. You can do your make install clean. Um, I don't believe there, there's no configure option, so it will actually just install for you all the way through. So you'll just do the make install clean. Once that goes through and that is all done, what you need to do is you need to first start MySQL. You'll, you, you'll actually, let me rehash that here. You might want to type in rehash. Rehash just refreshes the terminal. Then let's do user, well, again I can't do it, local etc. Now we're going to go into the rcd. The rc.d folder is where your services can start. So we're going to my SQL server, and you're going to do start. Now you might have to do a force start the first time. Um, I've gotten away with just doing start. Some people have emailed me and said um, it's not starting and I can't set up my password. What do I do? So that's where you do the four start. So right now my SQL is running. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use the MySQL admin. You're going to do dash u, which specifies specifies that you're going to tell the terminal what user to specify which we're going to specify root then you're going to type the word password now this is not the password it's specifying again it's just telling you you're about to specify it. now what you put in is what the password is going to be so if I put you know uh, John has good tutorials which is not a good password at all, don't use that, but when you would hit enter, that would specify that the root user is going to have the password of John has good tutorial. Now you could do forward slash u and type in another user that you have created and it will create it and do everything for you. So once you hit enter, that sets the password and that's it. That is all to do with MySQL. That is probably... Was that not easy or what? I mean, that that's just so simple. So now you should have, if you've watched all my tutorials, you should have a working Apache server with PHP support, 
um, this is checked XML, XML support, and now my SQL. Um, I will be releasing a future tutorial on P installing PHP my admin because that's a that's a tricky one to do. Um, I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do that because that could be compromising me because a lot of my stuff has my passwords in it, things like that. But um, again, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to me. Um, I'm going to have future tutorials on FreeBSD, and I'm actually going to put some other stuff like web design and things like that in there eventually. And um, thank you.